upset that you know congratulate Ohio State. Uh, had a good crowd here today. And played really well. And the big guy is shooting threes like that. Uh, Wesson and CJ's making his shots. They're a real tough team, well coached. You know, program I have a lot of respect for. It wasn't our night tonight, and uh, they had a good night. The way that uh, Caleb was kind of thinking of the game there in the first half, what were you trying to do to slow him down, and, and what was the struggle? I mean, you know, I watch all the tapes, and everyone tries to slow him down, but when he's making threes like that, it's a problem. You can only take away so many things. And, you know, if it was three for four, he steps out, um, and he's a problem around the basket, but uh, I thought he was just outstanding today. He got them off to a great start, kind of carried him. We've seen a lot of the teams of late that Ohio State has played try to double and, and trap Caleb. Didn't seem like you guys did a, did a ton of that today. Just what was the yeah, hard to trap a guy popping out for three. You know, and then nine points from there, and then the foul line. And, and we don't double teams. That's not what we do. You know, um, we did a great job the first time we played them. Um, the other guys are good too around it. When you do double, like teams double us, we get layups. We like when teams double us. So, you know, it's it's one of those things you're going to have to. Decide how you're gonna have to play them. We have enough big guys too and big bodies, but you know, stepping out, making three is a whole different, whole different uh, assignment now for people. If he's gonna shoot the ball like that, it's gonna be a lot of cause a lot of problems for a lot of coaches. Well, Ohio State's players talk a lot about having to match your physicality, and they felt they came way short on that when they went to your place. Um, how did you feel you guys handled the physical component of the game? I mean, you know, we're always physical, so I don't know what the backboards say, but you know. We got a few offensive rebounds. We didn't finish enough plays, and obviously, our key was Wesson. And you know, when he has nights like this, then you're not going to beat Ohio State at Ohio State. Uh, and the best two players have have great nights. And, and, you know, but physically, we play hard. And we, we get after it. What was your idea about man and zone heading into the game, and did that evolve as the game went on? Too? Yeah, I mean, we tried, you know, both too. Um, you know, I thought they were shooting the ball. I thought they had a pretty good rhythm. Um, you know, we're a man-to-man -man team, so we play man-to-man. -man. We mix it up a little bit. I didn't think our zone was effective. Uh, you know, and then you get behind, and the last thing you want to do is play zone and give up open shots to a team that has a lead. It's easy to make shots when you have a lead. So, uh, you know, obviously uh, scoring 60% in the second half is, is a huge number, and we pride ourselves in good defense. So we that tonight. Coach, I think this has been a really good stretch for you guys, three wins in a row, which hadn't happened at Rutgers in years in the conference. Just what are you hoping that this isn't something that turns things back the other direction? Uh, I mean, this is a great league. So, I mean, we have Michigan next. So, yeah. sold out rack and nothing gets easy. I mean, teams can go on winning streaks and losing streaks in this league, and they can be very good teams that do that. So, uh, we play one game at a time. We have one senior. We have six, seven of our top 11 players are freshmen or sophomores, and we just keep grinding. The program keeps getting better. We're building a new practice facility. We're selling out games at home. So, you know, Rutgers is, is, is moving and moving in a good direction. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it.